we're live, and we it's just live. a couple of minutes before two, so we'll wait another couple of minutes or so. Yeah, we get so excited we jump the gun. We're so excited. This is fun. It's live. Got a little X-Wing here. Yeah, um, X-Wing, and we yeah. have a, a little uh, Grogu, or... We get a lot of Grogu. Grogu. You don't know his own It's name. Grogu. Of course it's little, Grogu. There's a lot of Grogu's. He, on the yeah, thing. he went crazy today. Yeah, well, it didn't necessarily go crazy. It was just a matter of that was all I could using find. all the stickers, and I used all the. What else am I going to use them for? Good question. Good mm. point. Really? Yeah, I know it is true. So we'll. Uh, it's just about two o'clock now. So let's um, let's say hey, we got one there. I don't know who that is, but someone's watching. So all right. That's great. Hey, hey hi. 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 How you doing? You. Woo. So. Um, yeah, you know what I say, I say that we uh, we just say welcome to everybody to the Star the Ticket Subs and Popcorn Star Wars May the Fourth be with you and all that kind yep. of stuff. Happy Star Wars Day um, with you. So um, I we um, we have a big bucket filled with um, little things to start us chatting. So let's um, yeah we didn't obviously because it's a movie franchise we didn't there's we just we just wrote some questions. Put them in there, so we don't know. Well, what's tell them how the sausage is made. I know they'll never want to eat it. Exactly. All right. So um, so let's just um, this is Star Wars. This is the one with the guy and the dog in the ship, right? As far as I remember. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. So um, let's sort of the first talking point. I've got. All right. Cool. So uh, the first one here talking is points. your uh, your favorite like non movie. So. Of Even all of movies. the yeah, so of the, the Star Wars related Star Wars franchise. Well, yeah, but, not a movie. but yeah, so everything today will okay. be Star Wars related. So you're like non movies, so the animation, okay, or right, the books TV series, or the comics, or right, stuff comics. like that. And I'm just okay. gonna litter the yeah. drum with um, all that stuff. So we're gonna have Frank read them off because Frank was the one who actually wrote that, and yeah, I cannot and my, read. I can't my read anyway. Is terrible. So he'll be so. like actually reading them off. Sorry, that's okay. It is terrible. Yeah. I should have done the medical school. Go ahead. So, favorite, uh, favorite okay, I, I never really got into the um, uh, the comic books at any point, really, or the novels, mm -hmm. um, so I can't really talk about those. So, uh, if it's not a movie, then for me, it's got to be the pretty much a TV stuff, show, the yeah. animation and stuff. And um, I loved everything that I've seen. Did I really, uh, you know, I really enjoyed The Mandalorian for a short series, two seasons. Yeah. Um, really enjoyed that. Really one. good. Really but good. I do have to also say that when we, I, I only recently, and we're talking like the last three months or so, uh, got into the, the Clone Wars, which is an animated series. And I then they, the yeah. Rebels, <laughs> which is another animated series, um, and that opened a whole new yeah. world in a way, but also really got a much better appreciation for a lot yeah. of what may or may not have been going on in the movies, and you're following them, and you see a whole other angle. Yeah, I think it really does add a lot of um, breadth as well as depth oh, yeah, to yeah. everything. And um, I just remember when, when we went through Clone Wars again, and there was that point in the last season where yeah. Ahsoka, Ahsoka yeah. you know, comes back, and yes. there's that where we, we stopped, and it's just at the point where yeah. there's like a little hologram meeting when yes. she finds out that, you know, oh, you know, Obi-Wan went off to do this, and Anakin went off to go do this, and you know that that's like when shit's about to go down. Yes. And um, when, we yes. stopped, and then we watched, like, the episode three movie, and I highly recommend doing it. Yeah, this. We'll, like, we may talk about it's, that in depth, about the order, maybe. Yeah, but it's... Um, but it really adds going yes. to home, oh, stopping definitely. at that point, and going through yes, yes. episode three, and seeing what Anakin goes through and Obi Wan, and you see, see what everybody's it. going yeah. through. Yeah, so even like it's, people like Dooku and things, you see a different. You know, you, yeah. you start to see things. Yeah, like, it it really wow. does. It really does yeah. add to it, and then you finish that movie, and then you go into the rest 
of that season seven where yeah. Ahsoka and yeah. and Rex are going are, are, are fighting the clones in Order sixty six happens and it's just like and yeah. she's fighting Maul and it's all so incredible. It's, it really it was the only time that I ever really enjoyed like really oh. enjoyed episode three. Episode three. Yeah. I agree. I agree. And you know something? I'm going to say this right now. I haven't I haven't told Frank this uh, personally, but I'll, I'll tell you right now. I really thank you. For stopping where we stopped. Yeah, I, we watched I everything right. continuous. Well, not continuous, well, yeah. but you know what I mean. We watched everything in a row, took our time, uh, you know, kind of just worked on that one. Really just kind of, you know, we, we like made our way through. Yeah. Just we like really took it in. You really digest it all. We sat thinking about stuff and then we stopped at a very specific point and then we went into, into, um, where three, where you know, and then we went back, yeah, and, and finished the season, and uh, it, it was really. And I, I mean, just speaking of of Order sixty six, I really wish that Bad Batch wasn't just like so brand new right now because I really don't want to spoil any of that. Yeah, it literally um, came out whatever, today at fourteen Shades. hours ago. Um, strongly recommended. It's super good. So. Um, but yeah, just it, it really, um, ever, all the things going on when Order 66 was going on, it's just, it's just you yeah. know. And, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll just tell uh, you people out there a little, a little Order 66 you story. You people. <laughs> what people is that? What do you mean by you people? Um, uh, this is a, uh, a little story uh, about Order 66 that happened, uh, whatever, 10 days or so ago. We were at a we were at a fast food we we're at a fast food restaurant. Uh, five Guys Burgers and Fries, if we can say their name. I, I just know. did. Too late. No, I wouldn't. And so I have no idea. Um, so uh, we were there, and I was uh, standing in front of Frank, and because I'm cheap, but there's no way I was going to offer to pay uh, for him, so I just paid for myself. And the woman who just finished her order in front of me. Got order number sixty four. So you can kind of see. So where Frank I'm is thinking in his sucks. head, and he figures out, and he's going to be so happy because he's going to get order sixty six. Finally, because it's never happened before. Well, somewhere along the line, in that incredibly short amount of time between that woman and it had my order, order, it was a phone order. They got 65, yes. I get in there and they give me, Curious. and the, and like the little pimply faced team says, you know, here are 66. And I said, thank you. And he's like, I got it, oh, it. damn it. Thanks. Never ever getting what I want. So yeah. um, my favorite non-movie, I would probably oh, wait, go. Well, well, do, do we want to talk about Mandalorian then? Well, unless you, I mean. That's not my favorite non movie. Okay. I mean, but, but I mean, Mandalorian is fantastic. That's great. Um, I loved it. I thought it was yeah. great. I think well it opens done. up a lot of doors oh, yeah. to a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, I thought it was great. Uh, I think that years ago, when I was, you know, sort of not psyched with the idea of Disney having control of Star Wars, mm -hmm. um, yep. those fears of many times over been put to rest. Yeah. Um, yep. But I, I think that. Um, there have been novels that I've really, really enjoyed yeah. only because of the way they sort of fold into, you know, the movies and mm -hmm. the animated stuff and the live action stuff. Like the Thrawn stuff really yeah. plays. There are little bits and pieces that 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 come up all throughout Rebels. Where well, he's a great character yeah, within the Rebels, you're, which is my only yeah, experience. If you're familiar to him. And if you get familiar, like I said, with the novels, because I'm always popping up and going, oh, that lady there, she, the way she died, and then that happened, and she's great in the novel. And yeah, so um, so I've really enjoyed a bunch of the novels. Um, and I, I really like Rebels. I, um, yeah, Rebels, I, I thought was was, uh, was really, really great. Yeah, so, all right. Um, the, one, the one thing, I'll, I'll say this, out of everything, out of everything that I've ever seen, all of the movies, all of the animated series, even, you know, goofy little, like, Lego stuff or, yeah. or other stuff that they do, there is that scene at the end of the second season in Mandalorian, y'all, 
which one. It, it, it's only about probably a minute and a half long if you think about it. But when Luke rescues oh, yeah. them and yeah. then takes possession of yeah. Grogu, that Fresh. was yeah, un yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, really good. That was, I think, probably better That was like than the, the most video. exciting scene I've ever seen so in good. any of them. Yeah. I mean, he... That was he great. suddenly becomes this, and we've seen we've seen Jedi masters, and sometimes fighting you know Sith yeah. lords and stuff is at a standstill or somebody gets killed, but it's a long close battle, it's a tough fight. He's he's the proverbial oh, yeah. hot knife through he, butter, yeah. and he's going up against twelve. I, 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 I want to say twelve. That might be wrong. It's, yeah, but I'm it's it, it's a number where one of them is the death. For the others, yeah, and he just goes through them, yeah, and it's, he just does not stop. Luke, I think at the at, at and it just the that highest, adds like, more too because yeah. it is Luke, which you know connects us again, and that's just tremendous. And then I I, I want to say it's it's the last of the those um, whatever they are imperial battle droids or whatever. Yeah. It's like the last one I want to say. Luke just like turns to him. And he does the old Jedi thing, and you see it, his chest, his just throat, and his hands trying to crush. Yeah. It's like, oh my god. It is. It is Luke. That is uh, tremendous. That is the most I don't think we've ever seen anybody generate that much power. No, on well, Vader. Yeah, but this was so fast and so quick. Whereas sometimes you see Vader take a hit or something. There's I don't know. Those, the, those two scenes where, you know, Vader, someone, I saw somewhere on the interweb, someone had cut together. Luke coming through and like Vader do like both of them kind of doing their hallway oh, thing. Yeah. And yeah, it yeah, looks yeah. so great Real together. Hallway, yeah. yeah, it's so yeah. good. So really, really good. All right, let's do another round. Uh, do we have some names there on the screen? I can't even uh, see. Yeah. Hey Heather, Heather Heather's there. Heather's there and how's it going, Heather? It looks like Jeremy's there. Jeremy's hey, there. Hey Jeremy's. Love you, Jeremy. So I can't see who else is uh, I can't see who it is. So um all right, here we go. This is this is nice. Uh What's your favorite love story in the in the? My favorite love story. I think you snuck that one in. I did sneak that one in. Yeah. Favorite oh, love story. Yeah. Wow. There, there are a lot. Of there are when there you think you know when you should. Really oh wait, but, but the, you know, just no, like, it's more than it's just, more than just Han and Leia. Yeah, and there's more than just even Padme and Anakin yeah. too. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm no, gonna go. No, you go because I think I got one, and I just wanna look I, it up in my head. I sure. think I want to go um, as much as I love Han and Leia, of course, because um, they're like the OG. Just yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but I have to say that watching it sort of develop and having read the novel oh, that okay. brought them together, okay, the um, the Hera and Kanan oh, Kanan, yeah, thing, which I think is so. Yes. So great. By the way, folks, we're gonna spoil the hell out of stuff here. So if you didn't watch all yeah. the rebels, you don't know what happens to Kanan. So, um, so, and to see that relationship kind of build and build and build, and then them getting comfortable enough to sort of like Express actually that. talk about how yes. they feel about each Where other, they are, and yeah. then to lose that, and then just to have it. Yeah. It's so. I just thought it was the the, the sweetest. Um, the sweetest thing. Uh, I think that's like probably for me the, the, the sweetest. Love no, story. it's beautiful. So I've, well, I, I've got I've got one, and and I'll be honest. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's if it's canon. I don't know if I'm reading into it, but I don't care. I still take it. This okay, way. is in Rogue One, Charit and Vase. I really feel that there's something more than just. Than just they a, have, than just that kind of apartment. Yeah, I don't. I think I, there's something more. And I don't in know, just can anybody few, give us that? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have no idea if this is so, real or not. But that but is a. It's um, just tremendous because a lot said with the eyes and one and one character is, is blind, yeah. so his eyes are actually occluded, so you don't even see much other than just this cloudy film. But um, uh, I I. Felt like you know what I mean. They're they're yeah. always there for each other, and that it seemed great, more than a friendship. Yeah, and, that and is a great. I don't care really one way or the other. Yeah. No, I, I I'm I treat it. I treat it as more than uh, a friendship. 
So that's a, I treat that as a love story. And whether or not it's written in that way, or if I just made it that way in my head, I don't know. Okay, I can't read that. It looks like Debbie's here. Hey, Debbie. Hey, hey. Love so, this week, Steph. Um, yeah, I, I get what you're saying there. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think the Anakin and uh, and Padme one is, I, you know what it is? It's you. They're in a tough situation. Oh, yes. Those two. Yeah. Um, because they're they like around each other all the time. Never show. Do you? Yeah. Okay, and, not supposed to. I mean, it's different than like Obi Wan and and Satine. They have their thing. And Something. They know yeah. that there was a thing there. Yeah. Um, we never really get to see it, but no, you it's know talked about that it in the past. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But you know that there was there was a thing there. So maybe if Anakin had actually talked to Obi Wan about Padme and how. Yeah. You know, yeah, as opposed maybe, to hide, trying to yeah. hide it. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, and then that just point. sort of speaks to just how kind of messed up the whole Jedi Order is in a lot of ways. Well, for certain personalities, it's a messed up thing. Yeah. For some, it works better, but yeah, for Anakin. That's, yeah, it's just because he's himself. just a yeah. very, I don't want to, I'm not going to call him, he's, he gets very, very attached. He gets very attached with Ahsoka. He's very attached to Pat. I mean, it's just difficult for him to kind of... Yeah pull away from that and all his bad dreams and his stuff that happened with his mom so he's just yeah it makes you wonder though that it, um, we're just going to sound like the biggest geeks but uh that's what we're here that's for. what we're here for there there is a lot to be said when he's a boy and they don't want to give him training because yeah. they say there's a lot of fear in him yeah there's, and that's there's, what and that's Probably why he makes these attachments, and I think that was and he, the and last he holds time. on and he holds on to things, and maybe he doesn't love yeah. them in the right way. I, you know, Honestly, I think that was the last time Yoda was correct about Anakin. That was it. <laughs> yeah, that was it. otherwise Yoda made. I mean, you could do a management course on on Yoda's wow. bad management of his staff. Is just so yeah. So love. So and, and and the thing is, there's. There, there are loads of uh, partnerships, friendships because of that, we'll call it a special relationship that every Jedi Master has with his Padawan slash apprentice. Yeah. So there's a lot of that going on, but it's not a love story. No, no, no. But they're, no, no, wonderful, no, no. they're wonderful relationships there. But yeah, in terms of love story, I, I, like, I like yours, but I like, I like that uh, Dave's in shirt one. But like but, I mean, but, like Anakin and Obi Wan, when you go back and yes, having watched, yeah, 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 this is another part of that having so having so shot the watch, Clone Wars when we did, yeah, the Clone Wars, watching the Clone Wars animated stuff, and then watching those two fight and and, and Obi Wan screaming, you're like a brother to me, like it's killing. Oh, really you know, does. it's killing him. It and the thing really is, does if you watch, if you watched, well, if you if you started with the original trilogy right and then you watch you know one when it came out and then right. two and then three you see a certain relationship but it is not it's not as heart rendering until you watch the clone wars series. yeah exactly how and connected they really are yeah. between obi-wan and anakin and just how much that gets yeah, Ooh. those the animated stuff. I really think it, it just added it just so much depth and, and it really yeah. Yeah, yeah, sort yeah. of kind of elevates your experience with the movies. Yeah. All right, this one here. Oh, okay. This will sort of take us out of Star Wars slightly for a minute. Um, another, like another another property, another story, another something that um that you think could do like the same. Like the same thing, and maybe I don't know if it'll you know last forty years or whatever, but something that um, that you think has enough raw material that they could go wider and deeper the mm. way Star Wars has. Wow, um, the, the, there is this certain um, whatever you want to call it interconnectivity mm -hmm. that goes all through Star Wars and the characters, and you and there. For one reason or another, one person may be connected to another right. a little stronger. And so there seems to be enough raw material where you could just kind of like spider web out into all this sort of stuff. Um, I think it'd be very difficult. 
I mean, you could say that the Marvel Universe kind of does their own thing. Yeah. I think it's a little different, though. Yeah, because I think those are, like, I mean, it was Marvel. And yeah. then there's, like, all these separate properties that, this, that they managed to sort of cobble, that they brought together. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, that's fine. I, when, I, when, when I wrote that one down, um, in my mind, I was thinking, like, I would love to see them do... I, and they're starting to sort of like you know sputter their way through it. Is the Harry Potter universe? Oh, oh, that universe. Yeah. yeah. Sort of take the Harry Potter, and I would love to see them go and like like with the movies they're doing, you know, dribs and drabs here and there. They're going a generation before, sort of kind of. So, but I would I think that there's so much in that world, and she built such a huge mm -hmm. world in there. Yep. But there are, I think that that could go um, a, a similar route if you took other books and maybe you do a few TV shows and start making that universe a little bit deeper, a little bit wider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it doesn't need to be just one movie, another movie, another movie, another movie. I think Which is kind of what it is. Yeah, yeah. And I think that Disney has shown with. Lucas stuff with all the Star Wars stuff yeah. that you can do a series and you can find this pocket of time and characters within that pocket of time right, right, right. that great stories can be told. I mean, when you think about it, Clone Wars takes place just in that couple of years in between yeah. episodes two and three. And, and really it's amazing. So and much there's so happens. much back in. I mean, even in that last season. Wait, and I keep going back to this thing where they pack in all that stuff with Order 66. Yeah. So there's so much there. And I think that for the last, you know, 20 years, I can't think of another property that has had such a huge no, audience I, I that's been so, so big where you could do something similar and you could start picking away at, you know, oh, let, let's talk about, you know, James and Lily Potter, and, and let's talk about, you know... Yeah, uh, I, I think, I, I don't think anything is as quite as, as fertile as the Star Wars, just because there's so many generations already that we've seen in the movie, not, not just fans, but, you know, that what you're watching, and also the way that some people are connected where you could have an ancillary character and but do Harry a Potter, show and Harry stuff. Potter has, oh, has yeah. got that. Yeah. So it's right. that they've got yeah. that type of I, but no one's really really taking a chance. Exactly. I know there's the that, extraordinary thing, you know, yeah. but you know. But they um yeah, like all the Grindelwald stuff, but they just haven't really taken advantage of that yet. And I, I think that that is is a property that could get that kind of could get that kind of mileage, and yeah, you're saying that there's nothing that's 40 years old that's done that, but right, it's, right. it's got to start somewhere, you know. Oh, I mean, Harry Potter oh, sure. stuff's you know already over 20 years old. Yeah, you know, they're wasting time. They got to get on. Yeah. Plus, yeah. that would give you know Warner Brothers something to put on HBO Max instead of just yeah. you know retreading. Well, the, the know, interesting like, thing is too is you had the DC same with uh, when they did the uh, Lord of the Rings and that sort of stuff. There was a fan base there because of the printed material. Yeah. So there's novels that there's yeah, a, and that you fan could base. that would probably that would probably and be another would, one. And, that it you would, could and, it, and the same idea with Harry Potter. You know, they're waiting for the new book to come out. You know, that was where it was at. Right. Uh, where Star Wars was never in printed form first, other than right. whatever notes George Lucas was writing down, which was completely private. And you know what I mean, but once the movie came out, then all of a sudden, yeah, people are thinking of, oh, what can I write about it? What can I do? You know what I mean? But I, th I think that Harry Potter's got that fertile, yeah, bunch of stuff. Um, let's see, do you want another one? Sure. I'm ready. Oh, what's the the biggest surprise? The biggest surprise. The biggest plot point. The biggest surprise. Um, there, there are sometimes, like I, I mentioned it before, when uh, when um, Luke makes Jonathan. Uh, is that Jonathan? What's up, crickets? <laughs> <laughs> I remember that cricket. Right, sound. you got it. Um, uh, uh, 
Oh yeah, when when the uh, Luke Skywalker, I, I mentioned it earlier, where he has that that uh, one appearance in the Mandalorian mm -hmm. at the end, like you knew somebody had to save them. You weren't sure who. It kind of made sense that it was Luke, and after you saw it, it made perfect sense. Right. But I was still a little surprised because I wasn't sure that it was going to be him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as it got closer, you kind of knew it. But um, uh, and even when they made. Um, the, the the original, you know, bombshell, if you want to call it that one, where they're, you know, you find out. I'm talking the first time, and it's kind of hard to remember back, but the first time that you find out that, you know, Vader is Luke's father, uh, Luke and Leia are really brother and sister. You know, there is stuff, yeah, are they laying groundwork? Well, maybe, but it's not like they're hitting your head over with it and kind of making it too obvious. So it, it did. It does still surprise. It, it surprised me. I, I remember why. for me, it was when it was the the Vader reveal. Yeah, I was. I was, and I was like perfect age for that. It's like sixth grade, and I remember after having seen that movie, we're all sitting around the table in the cafeteria, like, no, this is bullshit. He's lying. He's well, trying exactly. to manipulate Luke. Is it true? Is it not true? Because, um, but it was, was it that was possibility. Cute. Of control. That he was lying. Is he lying? Well, he could so, be just to keep him under control. That I thought was, um, that I thought was was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Oh, and, um, and it did. And, and there are people I know who will say, "Oh, I saw that coming." Bullshit. But if you're, if I'm you sorry, saw it no, for the first time, I mean, you never heard anybody talk. Yeah, you didn't just the, the, see. Yeah, you didn't, the, you you didn't see that coming. And I think that, and I feel bad that that. There are no, I mean, there have been a couple of surprises in some of the shows and yeah. a few of the movies that um, I, I don't think they are on par with that. Right. I was super surprised when Han got killed. Yes, that, that, that destroyed me. That like, happened at like, He's still falling down the thing, and I'm like, no, he's going to be no, all right. He'll, he'll like land and on just, a ledge, right? No, I just yeah. was yeah. devastated. Han Solo has been my favorite character. Sure. The entire time, um, that to me was a devastating loss. I, I will yeah. not. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't. No, no, say I that. no. And it, 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 it did happen fast. It and was, the, the same thing. I mean, I saw it happening, but literally just five seconds to go. I figured that Kanan was going to have to die in, in yeah. Rebels. You, you knew that that was happening, but. A no, minute earlier, I, also, I know I, I did not see that coming surprised. until until the 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 whatever you want to call it the uh, natural gas or whatever kind yeah, of gas yeah. container yeah. is cracking up under his feet. Then you say, "Oh, I think he, he is going to die." Yeah, and but so but a minute before, I never saw that happening. Yeah, never saw uh, like yeah, five was five a, seconds before I, was... I saw it happen. But not like fifteen seconds before. Like, uh, no. And then when they make you think that Chewie blows up, yeah, that to me, you know what? Did you know what bothered me about that? And I love Chewie; it's great. I think that oh, I'm gonna get a lot of crap for this. I think that you could have left Chewie guy. You could have left Chewie dead. Yeah, it is. It is possible. Yeah, point. because you, you could have left run. him dead. I think it would have had more emotional impact. More emotional. Uh, yeah. It would have really, really highlighted that yeah. Ray does not have control over her powers yet, and I think it, it would have been it would have been huge. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. No, my I, apologies again, no to all the Chewy lovers out there. So, but um, yeah, Solo dying just um, yeah, it is. That, 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 that was a rough one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, it's funny. It's like that when when Han dies, it's almost like that out of story commentary that you get in the Princess Bride, where he goes, "No, he didn't die." And yeah, the grandfather exactly. goes, "Well, he died." Yeah. <laughs> no, he didn't die. Yeah, he really did. <laughs> and it's like, okay, let me. Are you reading this or I'm reading this? Um, what do you think has been bad for the franchise? Um, bad for the franchise. I can tell you that there are some <laughs> characters that I don't like, but I don't know if it's 
bad. Well, my other problem. But what do you what do you feel? It's just like oh, I, man, I never. I I'll be honest. I know I'm just like piling on at this point yeah, because man. I can't imagine them having much of a fan base. I never cared for me and a million other people. I never cared for Jar Jar Binks. Oh, yeah, Jar Jar. It just it just the whole. And, and, and I think that For there's a lot a, of reasons. There's a camp of people who are perfectly fine with Jar Jar, see his usefulness as like, you know, because Lucas has said it's a movie for you know these are all movies for twelve year olds, and I get it. Right, but and it's even, a family thing. Even it's my family. inner twelve year old is just like this thing is annoying. Oh, just yeah. the 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 pattern of speech just gets oh. so. To be too much. I just, oh, yeah. I, I, I just can't but, do but, it. But you know the 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 other thing that bugged me on a on a uh, different level, um, and and I'm gonna guess. Yes. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? Hey, hi. Lisa. That's my sister. <laughs> I'm saying hi, Lisa. And Lynn. Did I see Lynn? I thought I saw Lynn. Oh well. Long, uh, I can't read that far. Right. I can't even get close. Come right. along. Yeah. Oh, uh, the, the other thing I did not like, and we could probably lay this at the feet of George Lucas. Um, I don't mind that years later when uh, his work with computers and then CGI kind of catches up to what his original thing is. So I don't mind when they maybe add some stuff into a scene um, but the one thing I hated and just thought it was completely unfair because it was almost insulting the intelligence as if we've forgotten what we've already seen is when they um, took off took out uh, Sebastian Shaw's yeah. face yeah, and just was in the the, the original the third one, which is you know right. Return of the Jedi, the number six. When they take that out and then superimpose or whatever they did to put the Hayden Christensen that Anakin, I just thought that was not necessary. Yeah, I it really was. And there's there's like sort of justification for yeah, it, you know, still good in him, blah blah blah. Yeah. My um, I, I just thought it was. I'm not gonna say a cheap shot because he didn't well, I, say I didn't anything was, against the actor, but it just I yeah, thought it, it wasn't. Just, right. I didn't like it. Yeah. Um, the other and probably what I think is a worse sort of retro CGI crime mm -hmm. type of thing is um, the Han. Oh, and the and Greedo, Greedo who shot thing. first. Okay, yeah. no, no, no. The not question that. is not who shot first. Yeah. And that that's a that's a. That's I hate hearing that part because it's not a Tell first second that is infuriates me. And somewhere if Chris is watching right. or will ever hear this, he's like, oh God, here he goes again. Because they shot at the so, same time. Yeah. Uh, no, they didn't shoot at the same time. Greedo did not fire at all. He didn't. And when I'm like nine years old and I'm watching this movie oh, yeah. and Han Solo just blows this dude away, yeah. establishes that he is a badass. Right. And he's, that's it. He's not so the same. It's not the same if it's... Life. I agree. Yeah. It's not the same if he's defending himself. And, and the whole it's thing whole, is if, if, we're totally to buy, if we're to buy what he is before this whole series starts he's a pirate he's a, bad guy. He's a smuggler yeah he's out for himself um yeah he has he has a, a wonderful alliance and friendship with chewy but it's like it's him yes, sometimes chewy sometimes millennium falcon but that's it he doesn't care about much else right. it's gonna it be just, he's it, he's got to be number one at that point in his life it, it just totally is. changes his character to have yeah. Greedo take a shot. He's going to be a hero. Right. Because it speaks volumes about his character that he gets the drop on Greedo, that he does no, no, it. No, no. I, I him away and without a second thought. It didn't bother me as much as the other one, the the changing of the face. But yeah, it's the same. It's the it's same. Crime. Like, I didn't mind it when when Lucas would put in, like, you know, a bantha or two in a scene or something. Yeah, like that. stuff like that. You it's know, because he can fine. do it. And that's fine because it didn't. It wasn't 
you know, big changes of dialogue. It didn't make you it think fundamentally it change your character's guy. ethos or exactly. anything. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. Um, bad for the franchise. You know what I think is bad for the franchise? What's bad for the franchise? Star Wars fans. The worst in the world. Such a bunch of big, huge babies. Sorry. Really are. There'll be people, I guarantee you, in five hours, I will go on the internet and there will be people complaining about Bad Batch. I guarantee it. There will be people complaining about it. It'll be one more way that, yeah. you know, you, so yeah. that, 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 I agree. that Disney is killing it. There's like let's, no pleasing. Let's blame people. Kathleen Kennedy and, you know, blah, blah, blah. There is, there is no pleasing. Everyone. There isn't. And I've said it before. It's just like, you know what? At one point, I think with all this complaining that people do, that people have done about the sequel trilogy and all that, I would love Disney to just go, oh, all right. You, you don't like it? You're not happy? Yeah. Fine. You, we're not doing... We're going to We're not doing, everything. We're not doing any more Star Wars for another 20 years. Yeah. Go to hell, go to hell, go to hell, go to hell. Did you point at me? I pointed to everybody. Wow. So, yeah. Star Wars fans, I think, are the worst thing to do. They can be a detriment. They that's really for sure. are. They are really super annoying. All right. What does this one say? Oh, all right. Um, why the longevity? Why has this lasted and oh. been so popular and yeah. such a thing? Yeah. You think for the last forty-four years? I, I, I'm gonna. I'll just say the fact that they can start off with uh, interesting, great characters, and you know, and a good plot or two, but then I think it's the fact that they've been able to make this connection to so many other characters that somebody, you know, some characters are going to speak more to some fans. Your fan base is only getting, as far as I'm concerned, wider. Because yeah. when I was a fan, I swear, the only ones would be the biggest geek, you know. And and that was it. That was that seemed to yeah, be the you know, only. Like, now those back geeks back. are running, you know, running Disney. Yeah, yeah. You know. So now you're like you know the, a third generation of fans. It's it's interesting, yeah. and, and it doesn't seem to stop. I mean, maybe it might slow down if you go X amount of years without any, something new, but this it, it's so far reaching. It's so part of our cultural heritage. Yeah. It's weird. It really is strange when you think about how deep. Uh, uh, let me just give you this example. I just thought thought of this one. I was um, I I was I was uh, working a concert one night, and it was um, it was a Weird Al Yankovic concert. Okay. There were some people. I'm not going to say. Tremendous amount, but I, I would say almost a quarter, 20% of the okay. audience was dressed up in a Star Wars thing. Okay. And that's because, I mean, he did technically have a second song, a, 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 an original one, a Yoda. Which yeah. It's the uh, King's La Lola. But his big one is the, the Saga Begins, which yeah. is American Pie. Um, it was just tremendous. So they're actually going as fans of this person, Weird Al Yankovic, but they're connecting with just one of his songs yeah. and they're all dressed up. But, and that's that to me is kind of interesting, just tells you this is like a complete other slice of life. I, this is a Weird Al Yankovic concert and people are dressed up in Star Wars characters. I just, I love the way that it's, it's just embedded itself into the culture. Like, like if Fact. you haven't approached like a, 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 like a sliding glass door and gone like this and pretended to force open that door, then what, where, where have you been? Or, or like people know they're saying stuff. They may not even be a fan of the movie, but they know if they say stuff like, oh, Jedi mind trick. Yeah, this exactly. and that one. It's just they, that. It's, it's so embedded, it's for some more than others, obviously, but it's so embedded in the culture. The, the fact that there is a day that yeah. they celebrate the Star Wars Day, May the 4th, and you could get on your um, uh, uh, Alexa app, not Alexa app, but the Alexa the speaker. Um, speaker and ask questions and she will give you 
a Star Wars joke of the day. And not just one. Yeah. There's a few of them on oh, there yeah. today. And there's just stuff. And you go, the fact that somebody said, no, this is big enough where we will set aside a day and, and put all this stuff in just to keep our fans well, happy. I, I think that, I think it's, it's been able to stay alive for so long and grow because I think that ultimately these are these are stories that people in one way or another can relate to whether they're yeah. whether they're hanging on the, to the the stories that that are about hope or they're about about friendships or about relationships yeah. or they just love watching stuff blow up in space yeah. or they love the robots or they love the ships and yeah. um, it's just it's just continued to grow yeah. and, in such a wonderful way, and I think it'll go for another, you know, the, 40 years. The other I thing hope. is, like, is when you watch things like Clone Wars sometimes or Rebels, is you, you start to see it's not, it's not just like, Good versus evil. There's a lot of gray. When you start That's to like, gray. use a lot of gray, yeah. and you're just like, mm, boy, yeah. this thing They're just totally changed is. overnight. Yeah. And so I, I think that keeps people interested in thinking. <laughs> this one is purely so I can gush about the novels. Yeah, okay. Yeah, go because I haven't done any novels. Uh, so I've done it. I really, I would strongly recommend the. Um, oh my. The, uh, the Thrawn novels, those are fantastic. Uh, the ones that take place after the Battle of um, Endor. Yeah. So the Aftermath novels are really fantastic. But Thrawn is such an amazing character. We get to see so much more of him um, in, in the Rebels show. Yeah, my only exposure has been through yeah. the animated but series. But again, what's great is the way that the novels and the shows and there's... There's what I, I gave an example of. There's when we see Thrawn coming into Rebels. There's a um, there's a mention of oh that thing at Gatan and blah blah blah. Yeah. Like, it's just it feels like such a throwaway line, but it's like <laughs> the last third of the novel, of uh, like that yeah, first novel, okay. like that thing is going on. It's just it's really great the way things are just so. Um, so interconnected yeah. and they've done such a great job with the novels that um you know that just sort of deepens the entire universe and you know there'll be a character that you'll see for like a chapter or two and then they'll like crop up in rebels and then you see it's just like oh i remember that guy she did oh yeah, yeah <laughs> it's yeah, crazy yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah it's um it's really 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 uh the novels that i would highly recommend the novels to anyone who wants to sort of, you know, get even deeper into this story. Who uh, who has joined us here? Oh, it's Jill. Hey, Jill, how you doing? So, um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's, I just wanted to gush about I know the you novels you love for a little bit. I really, I really See, do. The fact that that Frank can read and I can't. That's a, a, it just a he he just lords it over me. He goes, oh, you never get past the second grade. I mean, yeah, he's got to rub it in. Yeah, yeah. All right, best lines. Oh wow, because there's a lot. There, there there's a lot, lot to pick from. Yeah. The, uh, well, I guess uh, I'm I'm gonna say for for me the first one, the most obvious one for me is um, do or do not. There is no try. Yeah. And that, it fits. That and, is, it, and it fits so many situations, not just that movie. It fits life. But it really it's, does. If somebody it, tells you that, you know what they mean. Yeah, plus, I mean, it's not just, you know, reference to the movie. It's like, right. It's a like pretty applicable life lesson. It really, really is. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. The, another great one that um, that I, I really love is the, um, it's not just one line, it's two. It's when Han's going down in the... Oh, bed. yeah. It's just all, I love you. I know. I do. Dang, that is, I mean, that's... And it gets used again. It's classic. Around, it's later. just, it's, it's, yeah. it really is just, um, oh, yeah. it's fantastic. It, 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 it gets you at every time. There are yeah. other... Yes, there are. Like, I, I, you know, I, I just I love the one that gets kind of repeated. I've got to see the, the, the final trilogy again. It's been a little bit, you know, the last three movies. But it, it, it gets used... 
in a couple of different times, sometimes a slightly different way, but whenever somebody is ready, especially in the original three, when they're ready to make their move uh, in flight, it's, you know, punch it! Oh, uh, that's good, that's good. <laughs> it's like, also, punch it, Chewie, or punch it! <laughs> I'm a big fan of, um, I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, yeah, you, exactly. you, the thing is, though, the, you, you know what? You, or you know or impressive. Let's well, what's, 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 it's a trap! trap. <laughs> oh, that one drives me nuts. Oh, of course it does. So, yeah. but the, um, the, um, what was I just, which one was I? Yeah, I stepped all of you. No, um, you totally did. The, um, I have a bad feeling I'm about always it. A bad that yeah. one is, it tend, now it's almost, it feels somewhat shoehorned in at oh, times. Yeah. You know, you used to be able to go, oh, it was said by Han at yeah. this point and Leia at it's this like point. A, yeah. But now it's just, I mean, like, even just um, it, watching Rogue, Rogue One recently where Kay is about to say it and the door's closed. And, yes. You know? Yeah. So, but it just yeah, sort yeah, of, yeah. it comes up so much now it's almost a parody of itself exactly. it's, in a way. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but that, the, those are those are some of my favorite lines. Anybody else got other lines? Hey, Leroy Scott. Lisa is also maybe back watching. I don't know. Um, all right, let's, uh, what else we got? Yeah, a lot of cool. Yeah, this is great. I love just talking about something oh, else. Really? All right, um, another actor. Who do you think would be a, another, in, in a whatever role, who would be a, oh, what other actor would you put in a random role? I think everybody's great. I can't think of anyone. I, I can't, know it. It's I can't picture it. Tom Selleck as, you know, Han <laughs> Solo. Right. Um, well, let me just skirt this issue a little bit. You by could think Gilbert Godfrey is Vader. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or, or I'm your father. <laughs> Doing buzzers with me. <laughs> we can roll the galaxy together. Uh, no, it, it's it, it's interesting when you think about different different actors, but there there was there was a time when. Uh, you know, when the original movie came out and then the whole, the, the uh, original three, you know, the trilogy, where you have it in your mind and there's only one way you can think about it because now you're just, you've been imbued in the whole, well, yeah. the whole thing and you're like, there's no way I can see or hear anybody doing Obi-Wan other than Sir Alan Yeah, Gittes. exactly. And it's just the way it was. But so when I, you watch I, the original three... And the some of the animated ones, they're not using his voice or his face. It, it's 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 all. Um, um, Go ahead. Yeah, right. What what character? The Scottish. Who's who's Obi Wan? Uh, oh gosh, Danny. You and McGregor. Ah, uh, yeah. So, but he's also after you watch too. that one. It's almost like you can't think of anybody else doing it. So you've got two. You know, competent actors, and they're both in your head. Work. You never think, oh, he's the original. Yeah. They'll never. And I'll tell you, the guy who and does, so, and the, the guy who does the animated voice is does great. such a such a close thing to the Ewan McGregor's voice. You don't know any yeah. different. Well, which makes sense. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. And, no, and I'm it, really excited. It's a perfect, you know, to watch progression. And then, to watch the upcoming Obi Wan show. That's going to be really fun to watch that because it's like to the yeah, progress. I wonder how Maybe. long that oh. will go, how much he'll, yeah. how they'll Look, age, progress like, him, okay. and how, yeah. like, how far into like his aging in the desert will they go? Interesting. Yeah. So, um, Interesting. but I can't, like, even with the newer stuff, yeah. I, I just, I think everyone is. Is fine, and you also never you you know that there's you don't that usually some, sometimes you'll hear like oh you know this one might be Batman this one might be Batman you know you hear so many oh, yeah, different things yeah. but with Star Wars stuff you, everything is so secretive you don't you, you wouldn't even necessarily know who's up for what role because you don't know until after who the, the fact, role yeah. who the characters are going to be what the role's going to be and sometimes it's somebody who's either younger or just not well known where right, you go right, exactly. okay. I'll yeah. just watch it anyway and enjoy 
whatever yeah. or whatever. It's like, oh, Adam Driver's going to be Kylo Ren. Right. Oh, fantastic. Right. Who the hell is Kylo Ren? What is that? Really yeah, funny. exactly. So I Casey so, Ridley, I don't understand. Exactly. Yeah. Who's Ray? Yeah. All right, here we go. Your top three ships. Oh, wow. I'm not much of a tech guy, or I know you're not asking one. to not drive them. much of a car guy. So a lot of this stuff I pay attention to, but I don't like go crazy about. But Just obviously, at, uh, who's here? Who's uh, here? Who's here? Cool. Um, I, I obviously, I'm gonna say you know, I I love Millennium Falcon only because it's just it's just what it is. You know, you can't. There's, there's so many other things that connect you to it. Fast as up the gas. You got it. It's just got the, the you know, the whole, we, we've just, you know, just eaten it all up. Whatever they're spoon feeding, we're just eating it up. So, you know, love, love the Falcon. But um, I, I, I do love the um, Slave, Slave One. Okay. The one uh, that's uh, Mandalore, you know, uh, Boba no, no, no. Boba Fett, Mandalorian Razor Crest. Yeah. I, I like Boba Fett's ship, the Slave One. I like the way that looks when it goes up for you know. Yeah. I was flying and it just kind of goes up, so it changes what in theory you thought was horizontal, now right. it's vertical and it's flying. That was, that's kind of interesting. Really in your face kind L- of. Yeah, literally. Thing. It yeah. Like looks that way. And then uh, I would say I, I, I liked the design of the the TIE fighter, but what I love is when we saw, um, well, I guess it's two variations, the one with uh, Vader's own private one, so it's the, oh, it's got it's the X-Wing. The, yeah, it's the TIE with the yeah, uh, slants X, and, and the wings. X-Wing, right, the TIE, whatever that is. Yeah. The extra little thing. Vader's and then, yeah. yeah, Vader's private one, the first one. And then the other one is when they they talk about it. We see it a little bit in the animated series Rebels, the one with like the third spoke. What is that the destroyer, the tie? Oh, the tie, tie fighter the destroyer. Defender. Yeah, the defender. Yeah, the yeah. Tie defender. So it, the it, third it had the extra wing on yeah. it. That that, that looks to really, me really looked pretty cool. good. That looked really yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. So those are those are Pet probably project. yeah. That's probably what I got. Mine is on definitely the Millennium Falcon. It is always, like I said, oh, yeah. Han Solo has always been my favorite. Yeah. The Millennium Falcon has always been my favorite ship. What's an aluminum Falcon? What's an aluminum Falcon? <laughs> um, it's, it's, it, and it really does. And I think that mostly because I was at the right age when yeah. all of this started coming yeah. out that it is such a, a visceral thing like it like it hits me you know yeah like emotionally if i were to see the millennium falcon blow up i would cry it, what, it, i would yeah so but i always do is it's like it's it's so it's so um it's just so there it's so permanent to us which is obviously why you don't want to see it blow up but it's got this permanence to it which makes it not so strange when you see like Han flying it, and then maybe Lando flying it, and then maybe Ray flying. You know what I mean? So it's yeah, like no, it's not so I, it it it's not so weird because you know that this ship is like like I say has some permanence. It's it's already a couple generations, and, and you also get the feeling when Han you know wins it from from Lando that even then it wasn't. So it's not like Lando bought it new off the right. uh, yeah I know he's the, uh, certainly there. there. No, but I I just for me like when I see Ray flying it, for one thing I just don't get it. It really should be Chewie's ship. At, at that, that point, point, yeah. At that point, right. that's but that's a I whole. Mean, he's other, flown it with other people. You know, I don't know what happened in probate. How Tom's <laughs> will exactly. works? Does oh, uh, yeah. Leia decide since she's next to Finn and then she gets? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Kind of when you really dead think dead about it, no when you think about it, it really is. It's Kylo Ren's ship because you know he's yeah. the heir. So anyway, um, but it's for me, it's Ray flying Han's ship. 
it's Hans shit. I don't yeah, care who owns it. But I mean, before, you don't. Who's you got don't it get, now? You don't get knocked out of joint too much when you go. Okay, you understand why somebody else is flying well, because it's it. been around. Yeah, it, but yeah. He's, he's dead. He can't fly it. But it's it's he they want to it. It just they're just inseparable. It's it's yeah. like we were talking about like the whole like. Um, C three PO and R two D two. We were we were talking about toys the other day and how I I couldn't have just a like in my oh, head. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, need yeah, both yeah. R two and um, and C three PO. Having them separate looks weird, but if you have them together, yeah, that's like the one unit. Those are those two. Yeah. So um, my another favorite ship of mine is of course X wing fighters. This yeah. side, this was this model is. Made and painted uh, by my friend Chris. I just thought I'd uh, use it as a little set decoration here. Woo! Um, it's in original movie game colors of black and burgundy. I mean, turquoise. And... Anyway, um, so uh, the X-Wing fighter. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely love X-Wing fighters. Uh, they're just, they look awesome. Oh, yeah. Wings closed and they all, especially like when they're going after the formation. First, the first death yeah, sound yeah. and they all just open it just looks really really oh, awesome yeah. and um my next one hmm, i might go um ooh, i really do like um in like the really big imperial superstar just this, like this, like that, that big one. ass I, ones. I agree the that, really one, that one would be up for super contention. big ones yeah you know like palpatine went yeah, into the designers and said i wanted this big that's right no bigger bigger I, it's it's like that first time when when you were sitting in the theater, and you're looking up at the screen, and there's that that overhead shot in a way, or under it's yeah. over us, and it just blots out it just everything. Keeps it just going. keeps going, so going, huge, going and you're like, yeah. oh my god, how uh, big is this? Those thing? are the best. Yeah, the best. Yeah, that was a great reveal. If you want all to right, that. all right, so. <laughs> Hands down, no qualifications, just I'm going to ask the question and then yeah. you just have to give the answer. Oh, man. You ready? Can't be embarrassing. Okay, good. Favorite movie? Oh, favorite movie? I uh, I would have to say Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. 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 And, yeah, and um, um, no discussion. Sorry no if I'm going to sound like an old fart. The, it is the best the, one. The original three, the original that trilogy, is the All best. Right. And then out of that, I would say Empire Strikes Back. But I would say what's next for me would be Rogue One. Actually, really, I like that. I like that movie. Would be fourth best, I guess. I don't know. After the original, yeah. I, I, oh, after, after the original. After the original. The original. Oh, okay. Yeah, it would be my fourth best. So movie. then, all right. So given the nine. 10, 11 movies. Ooh, technically 12. But you know what? Let's just stay with the trilogies, the different trilogies. Yeah. So yeah. one through nine, not include and not including your Rogue One or Solo. Or the Solo. So rank, so put them in order. Episode, I would go, wow. I'll give you a second to think about yeah. it. Yeah, because I'm going to go. I think I have my ideas. I would go five. Four. Oh, oh, you're like doing the individual yeah. numbers. Yeah. I thought you were. Okay. So. Five, yeah. then four, right, and then six, right. That's how I have it so far. I would go. We're only sticking with the nine, with the yeah. one through nine, and then um, I would go three, yeah, 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 and then eight, seven, nine, two, one. That's pretty close because my the the final three, uh, you could but. That's that's how that's pretty much how I would have it. Really? One I I often said I when when the when number one came out I did not like it. I, I might it like it. it. Yo, I wanted to love it. I might like it a little more now, but I did not like it. And I often and I told people who were other big fans I said you know if this movie came out first. There never would have been a, another movie. Oh, I would agree with that. It's, see, it's, the thing just, is, though, it's, it's just it's oh. it's so 
if you go on and we could do a yeah. whole other yeah. show about what's wrong with episode one. But it's I wanted to love it because it was because it's Star Wars. Yeah. And I've said this a hundred times on a hundred different podcasts where it's like pizza. There's good pizza and there's bad pizza, but who doesn't love pizza? Yeah. So it's yeah. like, all right, I'll this it, is you know, it's yeah. just like, oh, all right. So like Phantom Menace is kind of like three in the morning. I'm really, really starving. I'll watch gas, anything. Is that the only thing? Gas then? station pizza. It's right. like, all right, I'll, I'll eat it. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's just uh, whatever. It, yeah. it is what it is. All right. Toys. Toys. Okay. <laughs> Toys. I, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, I, when the first movie came out I was already I was already in high school so I may have been a little too old to, to be toys but I loved so I, I didn't really get into the, the toy aspect yeah. of it but I did I did love what the uh, Kenner Mattel Empire Leroy says Empire absolutely oh, right. so what oh, I agree Leroy. Leroy. Leroy he's a he's a smart <laughs> man I agree um, so uh, you know, I didn't have a big connection to toys, but I did love when uh, Mattel Kenner or Kenner Mattel, whatever, was doing that yes. first Kenner. bit of the uh, toy, the uh, little action figures yeah. that were like I don't know, depending upon what character it was, probably two to three inches tall. Yeah, you know, depending upon mm-hmm. what person you had. Um, I liked the fact that they were seemed to be able to come up with enough characters. Kept you interested, maybe even change the clothing, yeah. for like the second move, you know, that sort of thing, you know, to keep you. Oh, so now oh, Luke's yeah. on Hoth. We have a different. Yeah, Hoth. there. I remember. I had. Yeah. I had Hoth. Yeah, Han. I had regular Han. Yeah. I can't. You know what? It was so funny because I would ask my mom. Like I had a stormtrooper. I definitely had. I had stormtrooper. I had. I had Han, Chewie. I had Luke. I had Vader. I had Yoda. Uh, but at one point, I gave Yoda. To my seventh grade English teacher because she was a really big Yoda fan. Oh, I thought maybe um, you had a crush. He's so, my Yoda. Uh, she was kind of cute, if I do remember. We also made her cry quite yeah, a bit. You're mean. So we you're were terrible. We were so, we were so mean to Miss Clangely. Oh my God, we made her cry. It was wow. terrible. So, um, but, um, and I had. Like with the thing with the stormtrooper, you could never have enough stormtroopers because, no, because they're stormtroopers. You like couldn't have a scene with just right. one in it. Why exactly. It, 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 and I just remember asking my mom, "Can I?" She's like, "Don't you have that?" Don't worry, yeah, well, come I'm on. Like, yeah, but you need more than one. You don't need more than one. Stormtroopers don't grow on trees. Come on. You don't need more than one. But I do. It was, it was that was the big fight. But I do remember there was one time out of nowhere. For no reason that I could understand, my mother came home one night and she gave me this little box, and it was the uh, it was the land speeder. Oh yeah. And it just it had like those like these little springy wheels. Springy wheels. My springy cousin wheels. Had so it would just as it went along the floor, it kind of hovered yeah. and stuff. Well, super cool. I also had Vader's Tie Fighter. Oh, so which was good. If you like, there were little buttons on the side. Oh, press, I didn't know that. And really? the legs would pop off. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. oh cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was, it was oh. good. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned the land speeder because it's it's not obviously like a spaceship sort of thing, but I loved that vehicle just because it looked it looked so old and primitive, but still so futuristic. It's yeah. like this far off the ground. Yeah, it was, and it, it just was like flying was, um, the, over the surface and in the original movie. You know what I mean? It yeah. just was one of those things. Oh, I always wanted the big Millennium Falcon that I never got. Oh, um, like scaled to the like size of the dolls. Scaled to those, like oh, that'd yeah, be cool. Yeah. Big, yeah, really cool. So oh, that would yeah. never get that one. So that'd be cool. Um, my son did build a Lego, one of the really big, like Lego um, Imperial Star Destroyers. Wow. That was really really cool. And I at one point, um, and it's in like it's not complete, but it started. I think it was when I got a knee replaced or something. Um, um, Chris actually gave me the Millennium Falcon Legos. That's I started and I never oh never okay finished. So um, yeah, so those um, and there there are lots of really there are I mean, lots of now really there are cool, more now. lots of really cool yeah um, Star Wars toys out there. Um, all right, 
Oh, okay. A minor character who uh, who should get their own series. Okay, I, I can I can answer this one, but I know I know that some of these are actually in production. According to you, because I don't follow the uh, the interweb thing much, so I don't okay. I don't like follow discussion groups, you know, things yeah. like that. So I know talking to you that like uh, Ahsoka would be a great person, but yeah, I know that there's something. Yeah, they're doing an Ahsoka there. show. Um, I I would I would say. Uh, oh, and um, you know, Boba Fett would be interesting, but I know that is coming up thing, through yeah. the third yeah. season of Mandalorian. Right. So, or it's going to be its own show. Oh, could be its own show. You already know, is. is the Boba Fett, the book of Boba Fett, going to be its own thing? Um, or is it under the umbrella title of um, Mandalorian? I don't know. If someone could help us out with that, would be great. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, uh, oh, yeah. So, I would say somebody else who's out there who, you know, would be interesting to see because there are some gaps in characters' lives where you'd like to see a little bit. Right. So um, I would say uh, maybe Darth Maul, but also um, uh, Asajj Ventress would be another one. Asajj Ventress would be yeah. really, really cool. Um, Maul, like when he's running, you know, his, his underground yeah. crime thing, that, I think that would be... Yeah. That would be really cool. I would, I'd like to see a uh, Game of Thrones type show about Mandalore. Oh, just that the history. Oh, yeah. yeah, I okay. think that I was. See I mean, we've seen a lot of like strife with Mandalore and yeah. stuff like that. But it would be really cool to to see. Yeah, actually, more of it, when you, when you watch Clone Wars and Rebels, you really get this sense. You really uh, get the sense of. A, uh, Everywhere, Scott. It's a oh shared. Oh okay. Uh, it's a standalone show. Standalone. Yeah, the okay. Boba Fett's gonna be a standalone okay. show. I can't see that far, but yes. Thank you again, Leroy. And my uh, bad vision. Go ahead. Uh, I've already forgotten. Okay. What the heck was it? We were talking about the Mandalore. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It it when you're watching when you're watching um, the snippets when the story revisits. Mandalore, e either through Clone Wars or Rebels, you really get this sense of just this um, tortured past and unstable. Yeah, like, this, this years like, of like, like palace groups, intrigue. Who like stuff. groups keep coming in, yeah. and overtaking, and just you know, in sh in power for like what seems like fairly short amounts of time, yeah. but in some cases, pretty nasty. But I got to tell you, a lot of Rebels for me. <laughs> I mean. In addition to sort of digging the, the Thrawn stuff yeah. that, that comes up with that, watching Ezra grow into a Jedi. Yeah. And, um, but I re it's one of those things that's just like, okay, let me keep track of the Darksaber. Who's got it now? Oh, oh exactly. I mean, How did this person fantastic. really win the So that when we yeah. see the Darksaber show up in Mandalorian, it's just like, like how did he get yeah. it? You know, exactly. so I would love to see how all of that happened. That'd be uh, really cool. Yes. Um, another minor character that. Um, that should get a series. Well, does it does is Thrawn getting one because he he he's a intelligent. I character. I think um I think of, I don't know when we see Thrawn because Ahsoka's going after Thrawn. Um, if they did, oh, if they're going to incorporate yeah, well, that's it. the thing. It's like they've got the books, so I don't yeah. know. It's just like well, the books are there. They're fine. If you want Thrawn's story, go get it. There's yeah. there's. There's three, I think there's five books now about Thrawn. Help me out, Leroy. How many books? How many Thrawn books? Is it five? So, um, I, I, I think that I, I wouldn't want to see those because inevitably when you take a book and you turn it into a movie or a show, it's just like, well, you forgot this, and then this wasn't there. And the book was better, and blah, blah, blah. I think you miss, you miss that thing, you know, which you can't complain with. Um, all right, viewing order. Oh, the view. Well, we we've, we've already we, been we kind of going. Well, we went through our like preference order. No, but but we've actually been trying to watch them yeah. in the best possible order. Right. So um, so you go one two, Clone Wars. Right. Stopping Clone Wars at that one particular point to watch the rest of, like to watch episode three and then go back right. into Clone Wars. Yes. And then finish. Clone and then Wars, finish right. finish Clone Wars. Finish episode three, 
and then well we did we did just rebels and then yeah then you do rebels and then rogue, rogue one. one you you can do han solo but that one is such solo a standalone that it yeah. doesn't really matter when um, you that one to me really doesn't well you could if you could well, probably yeah. find a way to slot solo in, in the middle somewhere of in the middle of rebels yeah that's what i was thinking you know yeah. like before you see yeah maybe Maul okay. go off to yeah fight Obi Wan yeah. Um, yeah, yeah so there's that uh, and, and then, then you go into the original trilogy. yeah then you go four five six seven eight yeah although you know something the way I am because I do like or should say love the uh, I haven't read any of the books uh, oh start with the Thrawn books he were yeah um, so good <laughs> so I, I because I am the way I am and I love I love the original trilogy. I would watch four, five, and six, and then go one, Thank two, you. do the Clone Wars. But then when I was done with Rogue One, I'd watch four, five, and six again, just because. Just because, yeah. yeah. And then I just then, I think you know, that I kind of in a way nine. feel bad for like for anybody sort of starting it now because there's no there are no surprises. I don't think. Right. Excuse me. In 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 any of the movies, nothing that was as surprising as Vader being Luke's father. Yeah, so Han's death is very surprising and shocking and emotionally debilitating for me. Yeah, but but there are no oh shit moments. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, which is kind of a drag. So well, they don't. Do you know uh, what surprised me was now that I I've just had to think about. Surprises. Um, saw it, saw it coming, but the surprise to me was how fast uh, or how short the fight scene was. The final, the final duel between Obi Wan and Darth Maul. I know, right? Like it's such a it's that was power packed, and it's ready, and there, and you're there. You've already seen them fight a couple times yeah. before. And now here it is, and all of a sudden it's like, what, what, huh? Yeah. You got that shot to the chest, and he's like laying he's in his done. arms, and it's like, ooh, what? That and I have to so say, fast. I think that decision was brilliant because for years we've been seeing it, these. It didn't epic need to be. Yeah. Lightsaber battles. Right. We've seen Maul go nuts. We've seen Obi Wan in epic lightsaber battles. Yeah. For years we've been watching this. Yeah. And then to see these two. And, and yep. you think it's going to be nuts because Maul is so filled with hate oh, that yeah. he's just going to go after Obi-Wan. He's going to be trying. Oh, yeah. Got. You got it. And for it to be just this perfect samurai battle where it's just boom, over. And, it, and, and it's not even like, it's not like that like kind of poetic end when Obi-Wan, like, you know, essentially chooses to give up against Vader so everything can continue and they can get away where he just stops yeah. it's not even that one no, he's no, trying no, and it's boom it's that. over before he's like is, yeah. what just yeah. happened yeah. he's laying on the ground was... and you're like oh my god he yeah. just took a shot to the chest like two seconds into the fight you're like what just happened so good so oh, good yeah alright who's your favorite bad guy favorite bad guy um, I don't like him, and he is a bad guy, so I'm going to have to say the Emperor. And then and all the different carnations and incarnations of him where he's different titles, you know. Really? So, yeah. I just, he, uh, you know what it is? He's like, yeah, he's, he's so evil. Yes. He's like, so, it's just like, yeah, 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 we get it. I, I much I, prefer. I, oh, good. I know. I just much prefer like the eat like the bad guys to be a little bit more you know like nuanced. Like I would probably go Maul. Maul has got so much depth, and when you really think about it, he just he was really he, looking toward he he was trying to prevent Anakin from turning. You know, yeah, 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 he yeah. was trying to find balance. His last words to Obi Wan are about is. Is he, is he referring yeah. to Luke going to bring balance? Is he going to you know? bring balance? I think that yeah. he had so much depth and, and See, so I think so I like much him home. too much to consider him so, a bad guy. Uh, Which I know he is. I, I get it. But I, you know. Um, Asajj Ventress yes. is a 
great bad guy. Oh, she is. She's fantastic. She's such a great evil one. Yeah. What's going on here? Hey. Who's that? Hey. Well, hey. Hey. <laughs> um, Gary Daniel. So, um, yeah. I, the, the, it's, um, I the, also the, like. The, the bad guys, when they're, when they're played well or written well, they're, they're always so intriguing. Like even even when we we were watching, um, when we were watching uh, Rebels, you get uh, Callus. Okay, so Callus is a bad guy. When he became a good guy at the at the last whatever half of the last season or something. Yeah. Like they almost don't know what to do with him, so you hardly ever see him. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, oh, he was a great character, and now he's like one of my favorite bad guys you know is I mean? Governor Price. Price is good. One. She's great. Got that crazy got, eyes. Oh, she's got those crazy oh, eyes, and then just seeing how, oh my God, how she comes up again in the. I really need to stop talking about the Thrawn novels because it seems like a weird obsession. No, so, but um, it, you know the 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 other thing is uh, uh, getting back to my answer with the emperor is that yeah, he, when he pits two people and, and it doesn't even matter when he pits two people together you can almost see him just actively rooting for whoever is got the upper hand at the second yeah kill him kill him and then it's like ooh yeah kill, kill him yeah. kill him and it's like. God, what just, side are you I just want to see someone exactly. kill Slayer. I, I, yeah, I can use like, anyone here. Exactly, exactly. I've, I've got enough power that I can be the puppet master over anybody, so I don't care. I just want to see some good uh, men. Dumbest my long God. game ever. We've talked about that a billion times, but just, it's the worst evil plan. I just don't... Uh, it's so fucking good. So, all right. What we got? What we got? All right. Favorite lightsaber. Oh, okay. I okay. Don't, I don't know. Really I, I do have one. You do? Who? And it's going to be a bizarre pick. All right. And unless you watch The Clone Wars, you wouldn't even okay. know what I'm talking about. All right. There is a there is a character. He's only in, I want to say, two episodes? Maybe three. Okay. Two episodes. And when it's when they take... When they take the, uh, it's a small group, like five, four or five uh, Padawans to find the, the right crystal that's, uh, yeah. that's going to speak to them. Oh, uh, yeah. They're going to exactly create the lightsaber their own lightsaber. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's mentioned a couple times. Yoda says it. Um, the guy who assists them in making the yeah. saber, like whatever his name is, how rare it is to see a Wookiee with this who's a force sensitive child. Yeah. And so uh, that character, Gunji, when he picks when he picks what his lightsaber is gonna look like, and the hilt is made of wood. Yeah. It's <laughs> perfect. It is just so perfect. Made for him. from the paneling of the Griswold <laughs> yeah, station. Yeah, station wagon. Wagon. But it is like it's Perfect. I, yeah, I, I, I've never perfect seen one. Him. That is a good one. I've never seen one just look so perfect. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm... The the intricacies of lightsabers, I've yeah. never read. Yeah, That's I, never been I, something Other I, people know the design I, and the color. And yeah. It means something. Um, yeah, I but I like Ahsoka's yeah. double lightsaber thing. I like her fighting style with them. Yeah. I love that they're like... They're not green, they're not red, they're like kind of a off whitish, just kind yeah. of into the ones that Anakin gave her yeah. before no, no, yeah. you know, he went off the well, reservation. You know, the other one I like is it's 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 different looking is when Ezra makes the first one. Oh, and, and the it, staple gun and one? And it looks like a staple gun. Oh, I hate So he's that got one. the blaster and the thing in one, you know, it's crazy. I just, yeah, his, I, I don't like, I like when he's... Older and he comes back. And oh, he's, he's a little more grown up. Yeah. He's got oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like a big but boy. Right I like it because he's like a kid, and that's kind of like a kid thing to do. Yeah. So I like the idea that his mind is like, this looks cool, and it just looks weird, but uh, that's what he's got. Yeah. This one just says Corky rocks. Corky, damn you, Corky, stupid intern. All right. 
This one says Ethan Hawk. That <laughs> was with Ethan Hawk. Oh, God. Ethan Hawk. All right, let's get serious here. All right. All right, your favorite planet or like setting? Oh, oh, I, I, I got one. Do you? I, I, I right. actually have one. You do? I've always loved um, Bespin, Cloud City. Yeah. I just love it because it seems like whatever whatever mining is going, it's under, you never, it's up up there is so like pristine and clean and everybody's beautiful looking and they're all just walking around this car. Dregs of industry you got it all down, down, down below. You keep working on not, you stay down nice. there. Um, I, I just, I, I love that whole, it just looks like it's this fake facade, kind of like, don't look behind, pay no attention behind the curtain, yeah. you know, one of those sort of um, things. Everything is pretty, oh, and it, and it also has one of my favorite, you said before about uh, uh, lines, one of my favorite cheese ball lines is uh, Lando, when he's kind of doing the old smarmy bit, when he sees Leia, and he's like, you know, Ooh, you truly belong with us among the clouds, or something yeah. like that. I'm just like, damn, you, you know, know what, though? You know, getting back to what we were talking about with Han Solo yeah. being a badass and stuff like yeah. that, his other badass moment is is in Empire. When the doors open, oh, yeah. and Vader's just down there, and Solo, without thinking, without asking, without no doing people anything, there too. and he just draws his weapon and yeah. fires. Yeah. And a sort of highlights what a badass Vader is too, because he's just like, yeah, sit down, boy. Yeah. You know? But that is that to me is just the the yeah. height of Han Solo badassery. Just it's that, the same that thing fast with draw. Greedo. It's like he knows what he's got to do and it happens so fast. That's his first judgment is to fire. Right. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. the thing and but it's it's great because like back with the Greedo thing, it's that's also our introduction. To, to Han. Yeah, you're you got right. like, all right, right, so he's just kind of a, right. you know, just kind of a, you know, just kind of a dude who's gonna, you know, fly these folks everywhere fine. Right. But then it's just like, oh, he's got some trouble. Right. And then it's just he, like, not he only is he like, out at the canteen yeah. because he's a big Max Rebo fan. Not, yeah. not so, but it's like, not just, he's not just kind of like, a, you know, this kind of cool pilot dude. It's like, oh. He will kill you, right? And yeah. he, and then and then right. when you get him an empire, and like he just draws and fires. And one of the things, one of the depictions of that is in the comic for for Empire Strikes Back, and the way they break that into panels, and the way they oh. describe it is just you know, and it talks about okay. how you know it was the his, the fastest draw of his, you know, one of those things, and it really yeah. like. Like talks it out it's as nice it's just yeah. yeah. Okay. And then I remember when I first got a DVD player and I you're like oh, and so I got that and it's just like frame by frame you got by it. frame you, yeah. because that is just a such an awesome awesome moment and it's such it's so beautifully shot because it's all white and everything and everything is light colored and they open the doors and the table is all the chair the furniture the whole yeah. room is just all. It's all light and white, and then there's just this black bug at the end, you got and it. it's and he, it was awesome. It was that to me is just that's Han Solo. Yeah. Who fired first? Um, what was the question? I uh, uh, I don't even remember. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't even remember either. We just oh here. settings. We just so, geeking out. Oh so no. Much. Oh yeah. Um, so favorite set. Mine was um, up there. Mine uh, is um. Probably, um, I go Dagobah is is right up there. And believe it or not, as much as I hate the cold, hot, hot. and I think it's it really is because Empire's my favorite. And when I see yes, when I see you know screenshots or when I watch that, or the opening, those the beginning where you, where it so, hides out on the tons, you know, yeah, the and even the that's a great that one. that poster that's white with the with the with the sort of blue it like yeah, that iconic yeah, yeah, Empire yeah. Strikes Back poster. It just um, that just that really that really does bring me back. It, it really does. Oh yeah, no, I agree. So I agree. yeah, so those. Those are. Um, I like when on Coruscant they you know, go they go down a few levels into the you know into the city the gritty city. Oh yeah, yeah, kind yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of fun. Right. Um, when they go 
below ground, yeah. underground. Some of the yeah, places, that city that's down there. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the places that were Tatooine, that um, that Mandalorian went to. Uh, I feel like we haven't talked about Mandalorian a lot. I mean, that show is fantastic. Oh, it is. Um, they did a really, really good job, and we don't. I don't know why it hasn't come up in conversation. It's just, it's a great show. I love, I love the ship. I oh. love what they did yeah. with it, uh, and I can't, I can't wait for more. Um, I was a bit like I've always been a big oh screw Boba Fett we don't need to see him again kind of thing, but um, but, it, it's but in the context of this, just yeah. like it works the way they yeah. brought him into it worked. It was just like yeah oh no okay yeah. I'll I'll allow it you know I'll buy that yeah, yeah. 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 so yeah. It's, oh yeah it is cool. Um, I got a couple more. Um, all right. Uh, First time, your first exposure to Star Wars. First time, okay. I can, I can tell you right now, well, everybody knows it came out, what, the end of May 77? Yeah. Okay. So, um, I, was, uh, I was in high school. I had, uh, it was at that point, end of May, beginning of June, I had exams and papers. Like you do. Like you do. It's, it was going to be the end of the year. And I remember seeing an ad on TV for the movie. Hadn't heard anybody speak about it yet because it hadn't come out yet. So yeah. there wasn't any thing back then to be yeah. talking about yet. So I see on the ad, um, you know, a couple of scenes. And the ad's not the trailer. It's obviously a lot shorter thing. So, you know, they're showing stuff here and there. And I see uh, what later on I learned was uh, Han sitting, you know, in the pilot seat, and Chewie sitting in the co-pilot seat, and uh, oh, big Chewie, big Chewie guy. And so um, I see that scene, and I'm like, I gotta see this movie. <laughs> when I see Chewie, there's this thing yeah, there, it's just, this big furry thing. Yeah. Oh, I gotta see this movie. Whatever, I don't even care if it's about dental hygiene. Whatever this movie's about, I want to see yeah. it. And so. Um, I, I scruffy looking there. Yeah, yeah, well, he's he's different. Uh, so, um, um, so I see the end. I'm like, oh, I really want to see that. But I know practicality sake. I got to button down and finish these papers and get all these exams over. So I was dying for about ten days till I was done with everything. Yeah. So now it's like whatever. June 10th or somewhere in there somewhere whatever th that is like the first weekend yeah the first full weekend or maybe second weekend I don't know of June 77 and we won't uh, hold you to it yeah and, uh, and so I saw it there I I got a I got um, uh, a few cousins not a lot but my brother and I are a lot older than my cousins and we're just we're the oldest of the oldest, so we're a lot older than, or a bit older than my cousins. So that my next closest in age cousin, who's probably six years, six years younger than I am, took him to see it because he yeah. was like the right age too, and uh, he saw that one. And that was just great, and it just and that just was like, oh, can't get enough of this. Whatever. Oh, what? Well, well, do you know remember where you started? Yeah, I would have been in. Um, Chelmsford, Massachusetts, the Route 3 Cinema. Ah. Very close to the Lowell border, which is I am pretty sure. I went with my grandfather, and I'm pretty sure it was my cousin Doreen. Um, my grandfather brought us, and um, I believe it was at the General Cinema in Saugus, Massachusetts. Very good. And... Um, yeah, we sat not like super close. We oh yeah, like yeah. We weren't that bad. It was probably not like that, but I was probably like that. You know, it was it was filling up my whole field of vision. Yeah, yeah. You know, so here I am, this like nine year old, just, <laughs> and I was just yeah hooked. I oh was yeah, just. It was that You're like drooling first, into your bucket of popcorn. That first scene where Vader comes through the door, and oh. it's just like whatever the nine-year-old version of what the hell is this guy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, it was just and 
Yeah, and then that was that was it. I was done. It's done. That was tremendous good feeling. Yeah, so you, good. you know what? Let, let, me, let me just let me just take We're this, this last one. Really? Yeah. Let me just take this minute to say something about Vader. Like when you saw Vader, yeah. you know, for the first time on the screen and he's like coming down the hall yeah. there. Um, this, this is a character who is not just physical, but a larger than life character. I mean, we've seen it, right? You've seen him in, in many of the movies. He's this larger than life character. And when you find out more about this character. So in the original trilogy, we can even if we just hold it to the original yeah. trilogy, there's there is a man in a costume uh, who is only hired, David Prowse, he's only hired because he was a bodybuilder and a yeah. weightlifter. So he was a big man. He was like 6'6", 250 or something like that one. And that's without the thing to make right. him even bigger. And thing. So here is a big man in this costume. Uh, his voice, though, is like this, is a Scottish yeah. voice, kind of a thin voice, nothing there. And so... Yeah, when they hear the original tin, audio, it's kind yeah, of it's it's so so deep tinny, which is yeah, a weird it, it's, it's a weird one, yeah. So you need this, like, basso profundo thingy to go with the body, yeah. and then they get, you know, James Earl Jones to do it. So now you got, like, two people playing this character. But one of the things that's so iconic is you can hear, sometimes you can hear him coming before you see him. Yeah. And it's Ben Burt kind of breathing into some like scuba regulator yeah. thing. And like, so now it's three people playing this part. And then there's some fight scenes. No, they do. And they have to get Bob Anderson, who is uh, the sword man. He was an Olympic sword, uh, fencer. And so it's like you got like four guys playing the part. And they take the mask off and. What would be the third movie for us, yeah. but then you know what is right. our re return? You take the mask off, and now there's Sebastian Shaw. There's five guys playing this character, is so big, you needed five people, and then it's as if you want to go back parts by yeah. part, <laughs> exactly. But this character is so big, and in every sense of that word, he's so big that you need that to get this complete character. Well, and then if you want to go earlier, then you got. Yeah, uh, what's his name? Jake Lloyd as a boy, well, and yeah. then Aiden Christian. So, in theory, now we got like six so or seven people. characters playing. You know, just to make this, just to pull off this character. It's when, amazing. Um, when I worked at a movie theater way back, you know, a million years ago. You worked so in a movie theater? I did. Um, <laughs> so uh, we did a uh, like a when one of the original, one not the original, but when the the prequels were coming out. Yeah. For one of those. Uh, we we put together this big thing where folks could um, get their pictures taken with members of the 501st yeah, uh, Legion. Yeah. They um, you know they they do cosplay and they go and they do special events and they're awesome. So um, and I was just getting to work that day and a couple of the costume like you know you'd see some Imperial officers sure. just sort of milling about. So I was you know at the computer doing a thing. Like the, just sort of like logging in or whatever, and from behind a, wasn't immediately visible, but I just hear. <laughs> I can I can just imagine. Just hear the breathing, yeah. and here I am. I'm like in my early thirties, and I hear. And you're like, oh, I just like I just defecated, <laughs> and but you're immediately no, I'm like, myself. I'm nine years old and I'm terrified. Yes. Oh and yeah, it's I just can amazing what the yeah. sound does. And it's just yes. like, oh, yeah. Right. yeah, hey dude, nice to see you. So then I go and yeah. like the where the little locker room thing was to go put some stuff away. I open that up and that was like a staging area for some of the dudes <laughs> dressed up. And I walk in, I open the door. And it's like a half a dozen stormtroopers. And I'm like, come on, man. Like all these like 10, 11, 12 year old, like 
fears, yeah. or, you know, yeah. just sort of jumping out at you. It was. Oh, uh, with your weapon, I mean, you do all right. Seriously, <laughs> it was. Uh, it was amazing. We raised a lot of money for um, for charity doing those pictures. I am so, glad to hear that. It was a lot of fun. Um, all right, the last one. Is it the last? Wow. In the great we bucket. Through this. All right. Um, all right, this is actually kind of good because this will sort of punctuate this nicely. Three favorite characters. We're, we're narrowing it down to three. Huh? Just three. Oh, crap. Three. You want to go three. first? I'll go first. Uh, okay, go ahead. Um, I will go Han Solo. Yeah. Um, God, this is so difficult. It, it is. If you, if you it said really three. is. I um, do... Mm. These aren't, I mean, Han Solo is number one. My yeah. next two, my next two are not going to be like in order. Yeah. But um, well, I'm not really even necessarily do, close to one. Yeah, to but, I, one. Yeah, I not, but yeah. like a distant second. I Not even a second, really, but just another one that I really, I really do like Rey. Yeah, okay. I, yeah. I really, really liked her. Mm -hmm. um, and then another of my top three would probably be um, would probably be uh, this would be a surprise would, would probably be Obi-Wan which is crazy because I used to hate Obi-Wan Kenobi because I thought he was a I liar understand. I thought he was a liar um, so I would have to say um, yeah but I would say Obi-Wan I really really like what they did with his character and you got to understand definitely they you definitely really, fleshed him out yeah well, you really got good. to understand i agree obi-wan yeah. a lot better yeah he's not one so of my picks his, but i love shit, how they his his little him out. from a certain point of view thing that i wanted to slap him into the next decade yeah um it i i am a little bit more tolerant of it, uh, but I really like the way he grew. I mean, it's really difficult because there are so many. I love Qui Gon. Yeah. Um, I do yeah. like Padme. I think Padme got terrible medical care, but you know whatever. I know it. Socialized medicine. They should have sent her to Canada. She only had connections. Maybe right? the royal family yeah. or something. I mean, you know, being a Naboo was yeah, maybe she should have been Canadian. Yeah. Um, so I just um, yeah, I, I love. Um, I love Chewie. I I I don't like Finn. <laughs> I'm sorry, those are the ones I don't like. Yeah. Um so yeah, I really um I like some of the lovable rogues that you I made I do too. Shit. Matter of fact, one um, of them might Hondo, even make it Hondo is it. Hondo. Yeah. He I might be my number great. three. Um Cad Bane is, Cad Bane is the wonderful. Yeah. Um I got so I love Hera. Sabine Ren, yes. I think, is is really, really an interesting Ahsoka. I mean, wow, three. I don't I know get, why I, I don't know. No, I don't Ahsoka, really Ahsoka's journey I like is, Ahsoka. is phenomenal. I she, um, she's she in my really top three. is. Yeah, Alright, so yeah. I'm gonna let you go yeah. because I'm just well like, let me let me just say the, the uh, rogues are are interesting. Yeah. So I always like these people didn't make my top three at least i don't think so um, three is really it is difficult. it's very difficult so well let me let, let me just pick my top three uh number one chewy i just love him i definitely does this character have limitations well the fact that we don't understand what he's saying is probably best because i it, think he swears a lot he probably does so i i just love that character can't explain it yeah, anymore i just love yeah. chewy um yeah, just do. Just love Chewie. I I would say Ahsoka is definitely she's she's a very it's just yeah. a great character. So so many of them are, but um, Jill I, Jill was writing in that her first experience was at a dragway up in North Conway. All righty, that would have been cool as a dragway up in as yeah. a drag in the, driving up in New Hampshire. Yeah, there, North Conway. You said it. North Country. Yeah. Close to the uh, main border. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. So uh, Chewie would would definitely be my guy. Mm -hmm. in the honorable one. So I would, I would say Ahsoka. 
he, he probably, he's not the same, but he kind of fills the rogue thing. I've always loved Lando. <laughs> I, I just do. I just like Lando. I don't know why. He's just, he's, he's, he's very similar to Han, but there's that little smarmy quality. Yeah. And I just, I just kind of like the fact that he's almost like shameless in a way. Yeah. Like, I you wouldn't know what mind I mean? that. I wouldn't mind a Lando. A Lando movie. A Lando show you know, that ends. Donald, Donald Glover was very good. He really was. I was doubtful of that. I was very I, doubtful. I, I would love to see him play that. So, movie. yeah. yeah. Um, I would like to see a Lando show that ends with him getting a phone call saying, hey, there's some dude named Han Solo here. So that kind of brings him very, yeah. right, like, okay. right up to that. One of the great things that I think Star Wars has done has been filling in Oh yeah, little little gaps of time. The fact that you could shoehorn uh, Rogue One into an incredibly short period of time, yeah, leading immediately yeah. into yeah, it's just like oh, this is going on twenty episode. minutes before this. I mean, yeah. really, it's, tremendous. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the fact. All right, so I, I had that. What I had, I, I, I had Chewie, Lando, uh, Ahsoka. Ahsoka, and Lando. But I do. There are a bunch of these little right? characters that I like, and some of them. Don't have, you know, much screen time. They aren't like, like R two or Ray or or you know this yeah. sort of thing. I do love. Uh, uh, you already mentioned one of them was um, uh, Cad Bane. Yeah, he's this like space pimp. Yeah, it's like what the hell? Like what is up with this guy? <laughs> and then um, uh, uh, Hondo is the other yeah. one. Same idea. But even a little crazier, you know. Oh, how interesting! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and then um, the other one I like, and we and we don't see him much, and he's only in the um, he's only in uh, Clone Wars, I think. Is uh, Zero the Hut? Yeah, he's this weird Truman Capote voice <laughs> hut, and he's just like. We don't we don't know it, it, like huh yeah what is up with him it's like all right just guess this is happening now you know I mean, yeah he's God, it's just crazy you're like well that's an interesting character. yeah three favorite characters I think is is really it is very, really tough because I really like you could just do top like droids, I'll, I'll be honest you know? uh, the Mandalorian himself uh, Din Dinjar yeah. that character that's just a great character yeah. I mean, would he be in my top three? Maybe not, but he's way up there. He's, he's, a, he's a great character. Yeah. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a little, you know, I'm going to say. I even like those, like, little, what some people might think of as, like, a throwaway character. Um, so in Clone Wars, uh, um, number 99 or 99. Oh, uh, yeah. Whatever, the guy who's just the, you know, the... Yeah. The team manager, if you want to call him that, is just cleaning up after everybody. Like broken yoke. And he's yeah. like, exactly. He's the deformed um, clone. Uh, but, uh, but though, speaking of the clones, I love, I love Rex, love yeah. Cody. Um, those are, I, you know. Yeah. That's what, the Bad Batch, oh man, I, I know Bad Batch just came out. I don't want to spoil it at all. It was amazing. He wants to, um, but I really do him. want to. It was so good. Yeah. Um, so I'm really, really, really excited to see where that goes next. With all the great, stuff. all the great stuff that that's coming out. You know, you've got the Ahsoka show. You've got yeah. next season of, of Mandalorian coming out. The, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with with where everything is going. So yeah. I think that they could do. Given how successful streaming is, you yeah. could they could sort of not worry about doing another. I know that there's another trilogy in the works or something like that. There was something. Oh, is there really? Ryan Johnson directing another trilogy, and no one's thrilled huh. with that because they thought he killed Episode Eight, but whatevs. Um, so yeah, I don't. Um, I'm not. I would only. Uh, I'm not jonesing for another not, movie per I don't se. Need another only movie. because, but yeah. You know, you know, you want to do an event where you're going to show... If it's a like, standalone one, that's... You know, cool. hey, you know, you want to do an event where you're going to show season, you know, a season of Mandalorian in a theater? I'm in. I'll kill a day. Why not? You know? Um, but 
I don't, I think that they can sort of take their time with another like theatrical release that would really need, yeah. they either need to go really like old, you know, like old Republic kind of yeah. stuff. Um, so that, that, um, you know, way back, you know, yeah, no, no, yeah, Darth Plagueis and, you know, go yeah. Way, yeah, you know, yeah. go way back to when like Palpatine was at Hogwarts or whatever. So yeah, right. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, they had their own little wizard school. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So um, you, you know, so um, I I think when I'm I'm still thinking of characters who, you know, who are my favorites. There there are some characters who I never disliked them. There are some who I didn't like. Uh, I'm gonna say you know Jar Jar Banks and whatever, but. But um, there were some characters I was just kind of ambivalent about. And one of them would be like um, C-3PO. He's there for a reason, and I get it. Yeah. And he shows that he's, you know, kind of a coward when he, you know. Yeah. When he mostly acts out. But, uh, you know, anyway. So when the, when the first movie finished, yeah, was he one of the heroes? Well, yeah, they were all heroes, and right. that was wonderful. But I mean, did that character like just stick with, oh, you know, that C-3PO, I'm the, I'm the biggest fan. No, wasn't that way at all. But I will give, I will give props to Anthony Daniels. Oh, yeah. There is this man who didn't, he may have had a theater career, didn't have much of a movie, we'll say, career, got this job. He's been in this guy. He's been in everything. Everything. He's done. He's done his voice for that character for everything. Yeah. For um, computer games, uh, introduction to Star Tours they, was years ago at, at Disneyland. Uh, his voice is everywhere. Every TV show, every holiday special. Yeah. They didn't even mention that one. Oh, God. Um, he, his voice is. He he lent his voice and sometimes physically. You know, to be to be yeah. there for openings and things. Forty, forty, and, and and the other thing is, he along with Kenny Baker, I kind of just by the fact that they are kind of encased in their thing, yeah, they kind of separated from everybody else on the downtime thing too. So it's not like. You know, oh, is he really popular with even his co-workers? Probably not, because no one got a chance to really, you know, sit with well, a cup of coffee know. and talk to the guy. You know. I don't know. I just think he's kind of, like, shunted off. Um, but the fact that this guy, for the last, you know, they hired him, whatever, back in 76 when they were doing the yeah. production of this thing. 45 years. And 45 been... years, he's still, he's still active in that sense. I know he does some books on tapes and things like that. He does everything. Like he lends his voice to everything. What they need to have him do is read every word in the dictionary. <laughs> and, and so after and, he dies, they can yeah, it in. in different you know different ways, Intonation, different emotions yeah, yeah, and stuff there, like that, yeah. so that when he dies, yeah. they can still use his yeah, so voice. So I didn't stuff. I didn't care for his character, but I will say that I give props to him. The fact that he's I saw heard though through. I. I I think Chris was telling me that he was always not nice to Kenny Baker. He may not have been. I have a feeling that those two are probably stuck together, and he probably. No. I don't know. I have no, no idea. I, I, I don't no. know. But though, uh, and the fact that he could still fit in, because that, that's a very, he's a slender man. And yeah. the fact that you can go the last 45 years of your life and still fit into that thing, or pretty close to it. Well, how that's, much that's of it now good. is also like well, now how much is practical, how much of it is like yeah. him in a suit that they put dots on and then just yeah, CGI and stuff and they follow the lights. Yeah, and stuff. I know that J.J. Abrams liked to use a lot of practical costumes and effects and stuff, so that's probably yeah. what he was suited in also. So, so anyway, that's our bucket. I can't believe man, know, we've man. been going on forever, forever. Wow. which is we just really, which is just really, uh, almost two hours. Are you serious? Yeah, it's and, almost it, and it, it's almost just uh, it's a testament to the fact that how oh we could how talk, much we love yeah we could talk we for another two stuff. hours about this yeah. so but um for, well hang on we should before we sign off what are we gonna do? I just want to say uh, I I am wearing a a NASA hat today not because it ties into any futuristic space movies or anything or anything from Star Wars the past. 
okay. long time ago. Uh, I'm, I'm wearing this uh, because less than a week ago we lost one of my heroes, uh, Michael Collins from uh, uh, yeah. Apollo 11. And um, I've gotten to that age where I hate to... It's going to bring it down. I hate to say it, hate it's to think of it, but I've gotten to that... I've gotten to that age where my childhood heroes are almost all gone. I think I got Buzz Aldrin left and Bobby Orr, but Bobby Orr was younger than Buzz Aldrin. But um, so I was very uh, saddened and moved when uh, uh, Michael Collins died last week. All so, right. Well, I'm now very we're all happy super depressed. Yeah, no, it's, just, uh, it's an important part of my Michael life. Collins. All right. So uh, thanks everybody. Um, I'll, I think I think at this week there were five people. So we're getting better. Maybe really, yeah. So um, uh, happy Star Wars Day, everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Um, we, we had a so great time. We had a great Talk time doing it because we're just sitting around talking about Star Wars. Who doesn't love that? Yeah. So, um, yeah. So um, We didn't we plan to practice. It's just... Well, yeah, no, because Corky's terrible with, um, yeah. with the, the key cards. So, yeah, this will be on a podcast, um, and we'll throw it on the YouTube channel as well. So uh, we have new episodes every Sunday and Thursday. Yep. So uh, this will probably be our Thursday episode. Yeah, Thursday. And, we just um, had, uh, if you're paying attention. We just had Carrie Fisher. Carrie Fisher. For um, Sunday. Um, one. Sunday. And, that um, was close um, enough to. Yeah. Sunday to will be um, so. Anna Kendrick. So stay tuned for that. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm now going to get my creaky bones up and stop button. And uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Star Wars day. Yeah.